Hi guys, welcome to Tuesday Tips with me, Bob Strachan. And I've got one today for you. Last week we talked about capos. And before I go on, I want to just mention something because a few people asked me what the, uh, if there's a difference between the capos, and there is. And, and you'll notice this one here is a flat capo for flat frets or flat fretboard. And this one is slightly curved uh, and more for um, electrics and curved uh, fretboards. Now, if you've got a Martin, you'll notice that the Martin fretboard is fairly flat at the beginning and it starts to curve as it gets up towards uh, the bridge and the sound hole. So I would use this one down here, uh, but when I get, if I want to get further up and, and, and get some other kind of sound, I'll, I'll use the curved one. Right, and it just kind of goes. So make sure if you're buying a capo or buying two capos, make sure you get get them for your fretboard. So if you've got a flat fretted uh, guitar, like a, a classical or a Spanish, then you're going to want to get a flat capo. And if you've got a curved one, you're going to get a curved. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that, but, uh, most people do, but well, no. You may or may not know it. So if you don't, there you go. If you, <laughs> if you did know it, then well. You already know. So, but what today I'm going to talk about, not about capos, I'm going to talk about thumbs, right? So thumbs are really cool for guitarists. Now, number one thing with the thumb, you can play bass line. It's really cool, right? But I'm not going to talk about this hand. I'll talk about this hand another time, but I want to talk about this hand on the thumb. Now, when I started playing guitar, I started playing guitar about 13, and I had a classical guitar. And um, for music, I wanted to take some guitar lessons. So I ended up having to do a classical guitar. Now, I love classical guitar now. I love Spanish style, flamenco and all that kind of stuff. I love the style, I love the sound. I've got a couple myself, you can, you can see it there. This, not that one, or that one, there we go. Uh, I'm, the screen's backwards, I can't know where I'm pointing. All right, so that one actually, the story about that, I found it at a, um, like a, a thrift store, a charity shop, and uh, got it for a couple of quid. It's a lovely, lovely guitar, Re restored it uh, back to its original glory and it really sounds Really good. But things that uh, we were doing on the classical guitar was I had to hold my thumb all the way around the back of the thing and uh, around the back of the neck here. And, and I've had to put my foot on this, an ice cream tub because I didn't, you know, I didn't, couldn't afford one of the little stools things. So, well, I just didn't want to carry it around. So I just kept an ice cream tub at school. Uh, and that's what it was used for. But we used to play things like, you know. My thumb had to be all around. I didn't see my thumbs gravitating around. So I used to always get told off for for playing with my thumb around here because it was supposed to be around here and I'm supposed to stand like this, you know, sit like that. No, I'm not knocking that style because I, I do like I do like it. However, I figured my thumb could be useful because it was sitting there around the back doing nothing. All these other fingers were doing something. All these fingers were doing something, but this thumb was getting laughed out. I thought that poor thumb. You know, he's, he's around the back of the neck. He's not doing anything. Uh, and even, you know, even when you're playing the bagpipes and stuff, your th th thumb's still got uh, uh, something to do here. I mean, this one kind of holds on. This is the, the poor thumb. He never gets to, to do much. Oh, 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 Anyway, so I learned to use my thumb. Now, I know other guitarists do that, but this is, this is something that I picked up when I was younger. And I found that when I was, especially when I was going from a G to an E, we were doing that kind of drop down. It was really nice to do a G and then a D over F sharp with the root note F sharp here. And rather than what we were told to do with the Spanish guitar, the classical plate like that, I thought it was much easier to just use my thumb. Well, that's not classical guitar, but you know what I'm saying? You can see that. So you go from G, D with your F sharp root, and then E. So you get that bass run. It makes a nice little run there. I really like that, and that's what you practice that. You actually find a lot of mileage out of your thumb. There's a lot of things you can do, especially on this E string. So another little cheat for beginners is some people said, look, I can't play bar chords, so what can I do? Well, you can use your thumb rather than using the bar, because some people don't have the don't have the strength in their fingers to play a bar chord or, or such. So what what can we do? Because it doesn't 
it doesn't it doesn't sound very good. It's, it's not a proper bar chord. So, but if you can if you know an F, right, and you can play an F like that. The problem with that that F is unless you're playing a bar chord, you don't have a bass note. So you lose kind of power. It's nice, but then you want to put a bass note in while doing that. Then you can go, and then you can even put it all in so you get the full chord. So you can bring that thumb over, and you can play your bass note there with your F chord. All right? See, so you've got that ability to play bar chords without actually using your finger. All right? Because some people just don't have the strength in that finger, or their finger just doesn't work the same way. So that is a little good cheat to play an F. You can also do something nice with it. All right, and you can bring into a minor seventh in this way. All right, so you can do all kinds of cool things. The one last thing I'm going to show you with with um, the thumb is if you're playing a little something that those are one of the first things I learned to play. So you start doing that, but then you use this is a good finger exercise. So you're just going up to the next. Uh, Going up two frets, so you're playing an A with a bar rather than an A like this. You're playing A with a bar, right? And then, then your uh, third finger uh, is is hitting on on the fourth fret, and then you can use your pinky to go a little bit further. Now here's where the thumb comes in. If you don't want to do that and you want to do a little variation, so you and bring the thumb. Start playing a bass run with it. So, there's some really good, th cool things that you can do with your thumbs. Now, it might take a bit of practice. Run through them again. So, you get your G down to. To your D with your root F sharp and then to your E minor. Alright, so it's a really way. And, and you know, there'll be a lot of guitar teachers who say, don't use your thumb, don't use your thumb, you're supposed to have your thumb down here. And yes, guitar is about hand position and things like that. But there are some people that can't do that. And there are some people that just can't um, work their hand around. And it is, it, excuse me, um, Hand position is really important for playing guitar because you want to make sure that your hands are not here because you're just going to mute the strings. So you do, do need to make sure that your hand is around there. So for most um, uh, most chords and, and most playing, I will have my thumb at the back there. But sometimes I want to make the thumb have an appearance <laughs> like that, especially if playing a D. It gives me that option. All right. Again, with your F chord, if you can't play your bar chord, just bring it across, and then you can come up. So you're playing exactly the same thing as with a, except your your um, your your first finger is uh, is down here instead of coming up there. You get a stronger bass line as well. So hope you've enjoyed that. And again, the, it's all literally all I'm doing is just picking that string. It's about rhythm, strumming the whole chord. just playing that bass line. I'm not doing anything else with my fingers, but then we get this little cool bass riff uh, at, at the bottom end of it. So there's lots of little tricks you can do. And if you've got a thumb trick that I haven't uh, thought about, there's probably others that I do that I haven't thought about, but those three to start with. If you do have a thumb trick, uh, put it in the comments or, or send me your video and I'll try and feature it on the program. And if you've got a tip that you'd like to share with everyone, please give me a shout and I'll get you back on here. So uh, I would appreciate any likes and subscribes. Check out Facebook. Uh, my tag on Facebook and Instagram is Pastor Dr. Bob, and uh, here on, on YouTube is uh, Bob Strachan Music. I uh, really appreciate that, the shares and, and the likes and whatnot, and, um, and comments as well. Let me know what you think, and let me know if there's anything you want me to cover, and I'll try and do it. I know there's a lot of other content out on YouTube, and uh, but I want to be this, this to be interactive, and uh, not just me staring at a webcam. But uh, tell me what you want to, to have on it, and, and let's build a community together.
Okay, cheers. Cool. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.